Well, okay, we're back talking about the Yaesu FT65, which we got right here. And uh, of course, I've got my regular old rubber ducky attached. And I've decided to add a full quarter wave antenna to it. Which one should I go with? And I start, so I started looking around and found a lot of options out there. I'm going to be sticking with the quarter wave designs, which are going to be roughly 15 to 19 inches, depending on what model. Some of those variations, I am not sure how they've tuned them, but that's what I'm finding when I start looking around. And I immediately got attracted to the Moonraker uh, handheld tactical. It is roughly 19 inches long, just shy of that, but 19 for the sake of the conversation. And it looks really cool because it kind of folds over and I went ahead and went with that option, which I'm very, very happy with. I'll show it to you here in just a second. And you can see the antenna right here. It's kind of a long base to it. And then as you go up the body of the antenna, you can see that it becomes kind of a very thin, almost diamond shaped. And it continues on up to the point where it's got this nice tip which I assume is there to keep it from uh, damaging your skin if you come in contact with it unexpectedly. And there comes my first problem when I attach this thing. All you have to do is thread the previous one off. There's our radio sans and antenna. And you can see on there the mount point, nice metal fixture. And see where the wire goes in. You see our tactical light volume button there. This radio does have a really nice kind of metal feel to it. Nice solid feeling body. And we got our other antenna. It's got to line it up nicely. Again, the thread process. Very, very simple. This antenna does come with a little washer in there if you need it. Uh, I did not feel it was necessary in my instance. And then it also comes with this Velcro strap, which you'll see in a moment what this is for. I did really like the case that it comes in. Nice, solid plastic. Has a nice Ziploc style enclosure so if you're not using this anymore or you're put away for whatever reason or if you're storing your old stuff which i'm going to do you know you can zip lock it nice back close nice and easy so once you've got it on there you realize how uh, completely huge this radio has become with this full quarter wave antenna on there uh, and that's why this particular design became so useful to me when um, you decide you can just fold it over and you cut off a significant amount of the length but the problem is it doesn't stay that way when I first got this radio I was really kind of unsure how to do that you know, I wasn't sure if you were supposed to push these to, to allow it to be, become more flexible, and I didn't really want to damage it. I didn't really want to damage it, so I kind of gingerly started doing this, but realized this is exactly how you're supposed to do it. You, you can just fold it over. You don't need to do a right angle or anything, but just bending it like so is perfectly acceptable. And this is where the Velcro comes in nice and handy. So I can do this so we can all see. So with the Velcro in place like that, you can then see how this would be very usable as a quarter wave on your belt. So vastly superior to kind of the traditional designs that I've seen a lot on places like DX Engineering. They're thinner than this thing. They're not as big, but you don't have an option for folding it out of the way. And it's kind of comically, I tried 
this thing full extension to use it in the car and I literally had to bend over, bend my face down towards the center of the steering wheel in order to make this work. So this is much, much better. And of course, all this is to replace the quarter wave rubber ducky that will come standard with your radio. So the rubber duckies typically have a lower gain than a full size quarter wave antenna, and which of course reduces the range. Um, their design is a compromise between antenna gain and small size. They are difficult to characterize electrically because the current distribution along the element is not the same as a linear antenna. In common with other inductively loaded short monopoles, the rubber ducky has a high Q factor and thus a narrow bandwidth. This means as the frequency departs from the antenna's designed center frequency, its SWR increases and thus its efficiency falls off quickly. This type of antenna is often used over a wide frequency range and over that range its performance is going to be poor. But of course a lot of cases from my experience so far you're going to be using this in uh, situations where you're not trying to go very long distances. I'm looking at our FT65 with its tactical antenna which I'm pretty excited about. So far, so good, and has had some couple of conversations with it, uh, with some nice signal reports. Not going super, super far, but that's not what I'm trying to do with this one. Just maximizing the fun I can get out of this particular radio, and this is one option that you might want to consider. I hope you enjoy this look at the Moonraker tactical antenna, and look for more content coming in the future.